I really, 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 really enjoyed it. I can't put it into words how much I really enjoyed the comeback. It was like having a debut again. I was ecstatic, you know, the crowd showed up very fantastic support. And I was over moon with everything. Was it, was it everything you expected once you stepped into the ring? Hundred percent look. I started the cat fight with a kiss and uh, we ended up with a bit of dancing and a couple of punches and I, I enjoyed it, you know, it was about uh, coming back, getting some ring more stuff. Getting under the lights again, like I said, I a little dance under the lights and just getting used to uh, being back in the ring. It's been a long time. I'll be getting back. A little bit of a loose and that, isn't it? That's right. Yeah. yeah. Referee had a word or two? He did, he did. I was uh, enjoying myself too much in there and I apologise to the referee, but it is entertainment. So where's this take you now? What's your next step? Well, I've just been told by Frank, I'm fighting again in Belfast on August the 18th. The show continues, the roadshow moves to Belfast. Can't wait. And is that enough what you've done tonight to do, do it again, step up? Hundred percent. Listen, the, the opponent was quite short, um, and he was light, which meant he was quick. He um, didn't come to fight, basically. He came to run, run around the ring and enjoy himself, basically. Um, I, I opted for a bigger opponent, but we couldn't really get anybody. There was nobody available, so he took Safri a good record and tough chin, and um, he took me a few rounds. I was happy with him. Very happy, actually. He wants a more though. I said I was prepared to do 10, 12, 25. Ben, did the fight play out as you expected? Listen, it was, it was always going to take a couple of rounds to, to find the groove. You know, everybody knows where it's all come from. Um, but it took a couple of rounds. Once he got into his groove, you know, it, it was improvement. But that's why Frank's gave him warm-up fights. And that's part of the reason why Tyson knew that Frank was the right choice. Because it, it's the right path to go down, you know. Um, you know, it was never going to be Tyson's best performance of his career. I thought it was. It was about getting. <laughs> I about enjoyed getting, myself more enough than I did in front of me this fight. I really did enjoy it. It was about getting in there, getting the first one out of the way. How nervous were you, Tyson? Listen, I wasn't like maximum nervous, but I'm not going to say I wasn't nervous. After so long, it was like going under the lights again and being the main event and big crowd. It, it, was, um, it was a bit. Listen, I enjoyed it. I won't change a thing. I was happy with how everything went. Um, on to the next one. I won, 26 and 0, 19 inside. Got a mark on me. Got to go home tonight, have a pizza, and then uh, get back on it tomorrow. <laughs> ben, did you like him sort of a little bit of a disappointment in the first time around? What did you make of it? Listen, I know Tyson, I know Tyson pretty well. I, I, I was expecting a bit of him. Um, but when he got his, uh, got his act together and got his groove on, it was, uh, it was some good stuff in there. Obviously, like I say, listen, they're warm up fights for a reason. How, how much credit, Tyson, does this man deserve? A million percent. Look, I wouldn't be boxing, that's a fact. If me and Ben didn't uh, walk up into Spain and decide to train on. Never had no ambition. Ben give, it, give, ben give me the ambition, Mike. And uh, he's a fun guy to be around, he deserves all the uh, respect he, he gets. And, uh, He's a good looking man, there's some sexy ladies out there. I'm passing them around to me and I'll make sure he doesn't get it. <laughs> Frank. I'll call you instead. Yes. Um, so is the plan still, say, a couple more fights for Tyson before we move on to the big ones? And uh, are you two going to do another dance again like you did last time before the fight? When you 12 during the ring? Uh, I, I, you know, I'm pretty realistic from the beginning. I told everybody from the beginning, don't think we're going to be pulling in big names for his first fight. So. He tries to get the rust out of his system, and that's how we move forward. We pick Manuel Char simply because I, sorry, Manuel Char, we picked um, seven, seven, seven because he fought Manuel Char and he'd gone 10 rounds with him. And that's what I was looking for somebody who's gone 10 rounds. As um, soon as he got clipped, we got that uppercut, he was in the fourth round, and then obviously um, he sat out. Which I, was, I got to be honest, I was a bit disappointed with, but I suppose I'll see where they go for that. Frank wanted him sprawling on the canvas front, didn't you? I want to know. Another 10 seconds. Some, get some, some more, more rounds up. And realistically, I like when I say, you know, he says it himself, nervous for a couple of rounds, you know, coming into that crowd. I think that's the best reception he's had. And if, if I'm really honest, I couldn't knock him out 10 seconds, really. Could have done him in the first round, that's being honest. But what, what would that have done me? I got four rounds instead of three seconds, basically. Um, and I enjoyed it. I got a good little four rounds in. Um, TV exposure, baby! <laughs> and, he's, and, he's got, and, he's got, uh, and he's got another black one, another stone and half the ship. Yeah, there's still a bit so to go. You know, losing all that weight, you know, it's draining. 
And I think he's done brilliantly you know, in doing that get to where he's at. So a bit more way up, I think, to just step up, step up each time. The two champions, Wilder and uh, Joshua, are both out of action anyway, so no way that fight was going uh, to He would have taken for his first fight back at Joshua, I know that for a fact. But actually, Joshua's fighting for King. I think Wilder's got his mandatory, so they're out of action. They'll fight this year, they won't fight again until next spring. In the meantime, he's not sitting on his backside, we've got to just keep getting rounds under his belt and getting him in more competitive fights, and that's what we're going to do. The next one's on the 18th of August at Windsor Park on a Carl Frampton bill, and uh, I'm just looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to seeing him back in action. I know Ben and him are going to continue to work very hard in the gym. They know they've got lots of things to work on. And he's happy, he's in a good place, and the, and the public love it, they like him. And I'm pleased for him that that he's finally getting can we get someone seven foot ten next time? Uh, so nobody's I'll got any great legs. What's a realistic time scale? For, you know, if you're talking about a unification, well, those two guys are tied up, aren't they? That's the point of it. They're tied up. They've both got fights, and they ain't going to fight twice this year. Make very clear to Joshua, isn't he? He's fighting in the autumn. Say, when he's fighting, we all going to say fights in September. If it is September, he ain't going to fight in December. That's for sure. So it'd be, you've got to say how it is, not what everybody, all the rubbish people put out there. That is how it is, they are the facts. In the meantime, he's got to be busy, he's got to fight, and he's stepping up each time, I'm going to step up next time, and I'm going to get some rounds. It's all about him getting rounds, it's all about getting there, getting that rust out of his system. And first, tonight was the first major step, it was a great step to get him in, and nervousness and weight, get on with it. Frank, you've worked with many different fights over your career, loads of different personalities. What's it like working with Gypsy King? Brilliant. He's fun. I'm the biggest one of all. He is. He's, he's <laughs> I told you, it reminds me of the early days working in that. It's yeah. fun. It's spontaneous. I mean, you know, the way in he's picking the guy up, I've never seen him like all this sort of stuff. No, do you think? Like, just, it's what he is. He's fun and he's got. He brought the dark news out for Frank. Sorry? He brought the dark news out of it. Jack, well, he didn't let me get into the group, I tried to do his best, and, he, and I wanted to leave, but he was like, but uh, no, he's, um, it's great, I mean, this, this, this is a process, as I said from the beginning, we'll, we'll, we'll work for it, at our speed, nobody else is going to dictate what it is, at our speed, the objective is for him to get back to the belts and he never lost it, and that is going to take it. It takes me through one or two combinations years ago, but are you a bit disappointed that they pulled him out so quick that he couldn't like, step it up and show what else you had in the locker? He wasn't able to be honest. He took a couple of hard punches and he didn't fancy it, did he? told his corner not to send him out for round five. Um, and I was saving him for round five because I said to everyone I'm knocking out round five. He got an eight before. That upper cut, I think, the fourth round, he got clipped and turned his head on I said I was fit, I was ready, I couldn't fight anybody, I was happy with the performance, very happy with the performance, uh, on to the next one. Frank, who have you got in mind for the next fight? I don't know yet. I'm being Somebody, big. Somebody big. Somebody big. Somebody big. Big, 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 big. No, we're, uh, we've got a, we look as happy guys, and uh, we'll get it now down with the next week, and we can announce it. We're on the press conference in Belfast on Wednesday, so we'll be in Belfast then as So you'll be at the absolute peak by the time it's Joshua or Wilder then? Listen, never mind Joshua or Wilder, you're in the, the press conference of the Mac. So any more about him and I'll put you out. Bonner Frank. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, you, oh, that's it. You know, it's, it's, you know, it keeps saying about this thing about, you know, fight money. They ain't around. That is the end of it. They are not available for fight at the moment. That's the fact of life. There's other fights out there. The Bellows name keeps coming up. The same thing will be done. You know, there's plenty of other names there, but he needs to get around the rounds up. He needs to be in the ring regularly. He's in the ring yep. regularly, he will be getting a position. As I say, it's easy to make world title fights. Very easy to make world title fights. The objective is to win them and defend them. And he needs to be in a position where he can do it. It's a good team around him. He's good place, he's happy, he's having fun, and uh, the name of the game, as I say, is to get his titles back. That's what we're working on. 100%. Tyson, who would you like next, or certainly the next one or two fights? Say that again. Who would you like next? Uh, somebody with one leg. <laughs> That's who I want to fight next. 
No, I'm still not really bothered. I'm, I'm ready, I've trained hard, I've done a lot of training, uh, six months to be precise. Oh, wow. oh, oh. Um, whoever they pick, they pick. It doesn't really matter to me, they're all the same anyway. Whether it's Seppo or whether it's um, whoever, they're all the same really, and the outcome will always be the same. I'll always win. So all they do is win, 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 no matter what! And that's it! Listen, they're all bums anyway! Wilder, Joshua, Parker, whoever else, they're all shit! They're all as good as Manuel Seppo, whatever his name was. <laughs> Listen, I'll have a world title by the end of the year, no problem. And if you liked it, thank you very much. If you didn't like it, well, blame Ben. Because <laughs> he told me to do it, didn't he, Ben? <laughs> so, I said, the way, how much does uh, fatigue uh, Say that again. With, with the weight, obviously you've lost a lot, yeah. but you still want to lose more. How much does fatigue come into it when you're over your no. optimum weight? Fatigue, nothing. And when I was 28 to I could 15 rounds before they threw I said, I've got a natural engine, I wish it was 15 rounds. Um, it was what it was. Any more questions? So, some, you talk us through your choice of ring walk music. Were there any? Was there a yes. hidden message? Was there a hidden message in there? It was a fantastic ring walk music. Return of the Mac. Yes. yes. Thank you very much. Closed in right down, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Any more before I go home to bed? How realistic is Tony Bennett? Sorry. How realistic is Tony Bennett? How realistic is Tony Bennett? Yeah. 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 That's a Tony Bennett. Listen, I want someone big. Small ones, I don't like them. Big. Look at Joshua Wilder, they're all over six foot five. So I've got to prepare for people like that. I understand. Big, big, big guys. Big, slow, ugly fellas. That's all I want. The IGs. Yeah. Sorry, Joshua Gimp. Sorry? Joshua Gimp. Sorry? <laughs> Any more questions? Thank you. We're all done? Yeah. Thank you very much, guys.